hello, my name is Shigeru Tanaka. I am from Japan, and I am a member of the delegate from uh, RIPES. And I am also a member of the Pacific Asia Resource Center, which is a people's think tank in, uh, based in Tokyo. And today I'd like to share with you a story um, to kind of think about why consumers should think about solidarity when we think about food. Um, I am personally not a farmer or a fisher folk. Um, I'm a member of a think tank based in Tokyo. Um, but why I'm here is because uh, we at PARC support the movement of organic farmers in Fukushima, the area that was devastated by the nuclear fallout after the 311 earthquake in 2011. Um, to give you a background of what Fukushima was like before the earthquake, Fukushima was a prefecture very well known for the organic farming movement. There is a lot of hope in what Fukushima can do, and it is one of the very closest prefectures to Tokyo, and it was serving Tokyo with uh, very high quality organic produce. And the organic movement has um, gained a lot of momentum in the early 2000s. Uh, they set up farming cooperatives and networks in Fukushima, and it was doing very well. And it was offering uh, very safe foods to eat for the consumers in Tokyo. And the consumers were also enjoying a working relationship with the farmers in Fukushima. And so what's wrong with that? Well, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just a couple of tragedies have happened after 3.11. So after the earthquake, the nuclear power plants in Fukushima uh, caused a couple of explosions, and the nuclear fallout came all over Fukushima. And on day two, this one uh, agri-corporation who was buying uh, tomatoes from Fukushima said they were not buying from Fukushima, period, anymore. And this was a very capitalist-led corporation that made that decision. And what happened was various cooperatives who we thought were in support of the farmers of Fukushima followed the corporation and said, we too are not buying from Fukushima because our consumers are worried about food safety. We were very shocked, and of course the farmers were very shocked, and some people may know that Japan uh, is famous for this special type of relationship of consumers and producers called teike, which is a direct connection of communities and the producers, uh, commu urban communities and the producers. And some of these teike relationships also broke apart, mainly due to the food safety issue. And I must also add that I, as a father of a three-year-old, also, at the moment the explosions happened, had to think about where to buy my own food. So I do not blame the people who decided to not buy from Fukushima. I do not think they're ill-hearted, but they are very concerned about their own health and their own families and loved ones. But at the same time, I must say that if the relationship was in real solidarity as consumers and producers, things probably would have been different. Now there's a very progressive cooperative called the Seikatsu Club, and there's also another cooperative called Daichi, which means Earth in Japanese. And they said they are going to continue buying from Fukushima, no matter what. And they also said they will also buy from different areas, too. And they would label the foods as these are from Fukushima, these are not from Fukushima. If you like to buy and support, you buy the foods from Fukushima. If, for safety reasons, you just have to avoid the foods from Fukushima, 
than you buy from the other shelf. Now this is very supported by a lot of progressives, but the thing is, it came in too late. So when a lot of the take a relationships fell apart, I know of at least two farmers in Fukushima who have committed suicide in shock, mainly because their land has been completely contaminated and on top of that because they have been betrayed, in their words, by the consumers. And so I think back every March um, as to whether my option as a father to stay in Tokyo and to buy from the people of Fukushima was correct or not. I question myself, my son is healthy at the moment right now, but I don't know when he'll get thyroid cancer. But I still do think at the moment that I did the right choice in, to support the people of Fukushima. And I do not think this is a choice that any, everybody can make, but I would like people to support in their ways, in solidarity, the people of Fukushima. And what we have learned is it's been four years from the earthquake and the government nor the owners of the nuclear power plants has made any compensation to the farmers of Fukushima. There's a whole pool of money that's undecided. And they're still working on it. They say they're still working on it. But it's no help for the farmers. And it's the little people, it's the small people, it's people like myself as an individual who have come together to support these farmers. It's solidarity of the people who can really help people in crisis situations. And an accident, a nuclear accident can happen anywhere where there's a nuclear accident, well, nuclear power plant. And any other accidents can also happen. There can be earthquakes, there can be tornadoes. And in these huge crisis situations, it's not big businesses, it's not big governments that help the people. It's the people to people that can help lives. So I am only representing the lives of the two people who have committed suicide. I'm in support of those two people, and it's only two lives compared to all the other lives that have lost in the earthquake. But I would like to continue saying that if the people have lived in solidarity with these two farmers, they would not have had to die. Thank you.